Hi guys. So today's video is one that I'm very excited about because it is how to save money on not only books, but manga, graphic novels, comics, pretty much anything that can be read. This is going to be a list of how to save money on it. I'm going to try to avoid saying obvious things like borrow books, but a lot of these things are hopefully some tips and tricks or websites or apps that you've not heard of and that you can start trying to use to help you save money on books as well. The first thing I want to talk about is an app called Flow. The Flow app is technically an app that is put out by Amazon and I believe the purpose of it is to show you that Amazon, generally speaking, has better prices than a lot of other retail stores. However, you can use this app to your advantage when you go to places that will price match Amazon. For a lot of people, shipping is going to be a big deal and if you try to buy something from Amazon, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you're going to have to pay those shipping costs. But if you don't have Amazon Prime and you don't feel like spending $100 to get it, what you can do is you can go to any store that price matches Amazon. For example, you could go to the store Target. And if you like books, you can use the Amazon Flow app to price check. You can get the book for whatever it costs on Amazon, which is usually cheaper than it would be at a brick and mortar store. Then you can take it to the counter, have them price check it, and get it for the price you get on Amazon without having to pay for shipping. And you get the instant gratification of getting your book right away. The next way to save money on books is one that I think a lot of people at this point have heard of, but I still get the occasional person that is really surprised, so I felt it was worth mentioning, and that would be the website Book Depository. Book Depository is an online bookseller that offers free shipping worldwide, which is so great for so many international people that do not have great bookstores or great access to books. It's also probably the best place to get the UK editions for those of you who are like me and sometimes are just super jealous of how much prettier some of the UK editions are. It's such a great place to get those. One negative to Book Depository though that I have found is that they do not offer any kind of tracking and if any point your books get lost you will have to wait a very long time before they will reimburse you. Another great website to check out, especially if you are fans of comics, would be In Stock Trades. In Stock Trades does offer free shipping if you spend $50, which is very easy to do on their website, especially if you are fans of getting absolute additions. In Stock Trades will also do damaged book sales, and when they do damaged book sales, their books are hardly damaged at all. In fact, a lot of the books we have gotten, we couldn't even really find the damage, and we had to sort of guess maybe what they were even talking about. I personally have never had anything from in stock trades come in with really awful damage. All every single time they've looked like is pristine. If you don't mind your books being slightly damaged or have the potential to be a little bit used, Thrift Books is a great resource. What's really nice too about Thrift Books is that if you are looking for older editions of things or just you're trying to find a book that doesn't really get sold in bookstores anymore, this is the greatest option. For example, most of the time when we are looking for the manga series Claymore, they are sold in our local used bookstore and we kind of have to go on the hunt to find the various volumes. But Thrift Books had a lot of the volumes available and for a very inexpensive price. Thrift Books is isn't always going to have every single thing you're looking for, but when it comes to selection, I would still say it's worth checking out if you don't mind getting used books, because chances are they will have some form of what you're looking for. Since I mentioned a manga series, another fantastic website for not only manga, but any kind of extra little thing that you like to get, some kind of collectible or even anime, a fantastic website would be Right Stuff. You do get free shipping in the US if you hit that $50 mark, and they often have really, really fantastic bundle deals. So for example, the series Vinland Saga, which is a very popular sought after series, they do a really good deal where you can get three of them for a fraction of the price. We've also seen the same kind of deal with Blade of the Immortal, which is another really popular manga series. It doesn't happen all the time, but if you look every now and then on Right Stuff or you wait till the holidays, they will almost for sure have these kinds of deals available. Speaking of bundle deals, a particular website that you can check out that is great for bundles but doesn't usually have books or manga but occasionally will would be Humble Bundle. Something really fantastic about Humble Bundle is that it is all for charity. When you go to purchase something, you choose a percentage of the cost of whatever you're purchasing to go toward charity. I don't exactly understand how it works or how the company stays in business, but it's really great in my opinion that they are putting a lot of their money toward a charity. The deals you kind of have to wait and search for and just kind of check in every now and then, but when they do have deals, the deals are 
absolutely amazing. If you do not mind reading digitally, this is the place to get some of your bulk stuff. Another website that is very popular for not always having all the selections available, but if you search, you can find some really great deals would be Book Outlet. Book Outlet currently has some pretty good deals when it comes to shipping in the US. If you spend $35, then shipping is free. It used to be if you spent $50, you got free shipping. And what this is telling me is that eventually they are going to make way better shipping deals for international customers because right now, unfortunately, Book Outlet is not the best option if you are international. Despite that one drawback though, they really do have some amazing deals for those of you who live in the US. They often will have books that are brand new and cost as much as $30 for five or six bucks. They also have a scratch and dent selection of books, which are books that are just slightly damaged and you will get them for even cheaper than their already cheaper prices. The next kind of sneaky way that my husband and I like to save on books has to do with Barnes & Noble, which probably isn't the bookstore you would think of when you think of saving lots of money on books. There is a little trick you can use to get books for a little bit cheaper at Barnes & Noble's bookstores, and it's a pretty fun one. I don't get how it works, but it does work, and this is how the trick goes. Barnes & Noble on their website has the option to pick up in store. Or if you're already in the store and you see the book for a certain price and then you look it up online and you realize that on their website it's offered to you for cheaper than it is right in front of you, what you can do is purchase the book on your phone, click in store pickup, and then you will pay less for that book that you are staring right at. Sometimes the difference in price is only a couple of bucks, but hey, every little bit counts. Now I didn't want to bring up this next point because I thought a lot of people would already know it and I didn't want anybody to feel like I was talking down to them like they're total idiots, but not everybody knows about this. So I am going to mention something that is going to be really helpful for those of you who are really big fans of the library. If your local library does not have a book that you are looking for, they have something called an interlibrary loan where they can request to get the book you want from other libraries. If there is literally no other library that carries the book that you want to check out, sometimes libraries will buy the book for you. When I say buy the book for you, I mean buy it because you requested it, not that you get to take it home and keep it for forever, but they will now have it in their library. While we're on the topic of libraries, another fantastic way, if you don't mind reading things digitally to save on books, is to take advantage of Hoopla. Hoopla is free through participating libraries. Some libraries will give you five downloads, some will give you 10. It all just depends on what library you are participating through and you can participate through multiple libraries, which means multiple downloads. It isn't the greatest resource for manga, but it is absolutely fantastic when it comes to books and especially comics. I'm a big fan of fantasy and when I was looking, they didn't have a ton of adult fantasy, but they did have a really good amount of middle grade and young adult. With comics, they have so much. If you are looking to read some comics for free, Hoopla is definitely a good option. Another really amazing option for those of you who are fans of comics is to check out Marvel Unlimited. Marvel Unlimited is basically Netflix for Marvel comics. If you don't care about actually owning the comics and maybe you just wanna give some of them a try or you don't mind reading them digitally and you just wanna see if it's up your alley and then eventually maybe you can upgrade to a hard copy, it's such a good option. It costs $10 a month and a particular series that my husband checked out through them was Marvel Knights Punisher, which is 40 issues. And so 40 issues for the cost of $10 is a pretty good deal. And the last way to save a really good amount of money on books is to try out local used bookstores, which is a very obvious thing to say. And it's not necessarily an option for everybody, but what I would like to have in the comment section down below is if you guys don't mind, you can mention maybe what country you're in or what state you're in, and you can list some really, really fantastic used bookstores by where you live. So that way, if anybody lives in a similar place, they can check out those used bookstores too. I live in Arizona, and the three best local used bookstores I've found would be Bookman's, Changing Hands, and Half Price Books. Let me know which of these options you use the most often. Let me know if there's any of these options that you're gonna try out, if any of these online retailers are ones you've never heard of and you're excited to check out. And of course, let me know if you have any tips and tricks or any apps or websites that you use to save on books. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all later. Bye.